Hey Bobcat Nation, do you want to know what it's like to be a medical student at Netter School of Medicine? Well, I'll show you in this Quinnipiac Day in the Life. My name is Maria Mastropalo. I am currently a fourth year medical student at the Frank H. Netter MD School of Medicine at Quinnipiac. I graduated from Quinnipiac University with a degree in biomedical sciences in 2018. When I first entered college, medical school wasn't actually the number one thing on my list. I was very shy and kind of reserved, but all the faculty and staff at Quinnipiac, they really helped me um, figure out my way and it wasn't long before I knew that I was destined to be a doctor. Let's go over to North Haven campus. The first year of medical school, we actually are learning about normal physiology, which just means the normal way the body works. Our tests in our first and second years are completely pass-fail, so that really takes a lot of the pressure off of medical students, and it allows us just to learn and to not stress. The schedule of the first year is actually pretty rigid. We have lectures in the morning, and then sometimes sprinkled into our day, we will have what's called an active learning classroom. There are TVs where you can project the problem sets and work together. And the structure of our second year of medical school is very similar to that of our first year. The only difference is that we are learning about pathology or diseases of the body rather than the normal way the body works. Another big part of second year is problem-based learning that is done in these small seminar rooms. And a group of medical students along with a faculty member will come together and we will be presented with a case and then we'll come up with a diagnosis and a treatment plan based on the information we get in that case. In our third year of medical school, we're required to do six core clerkships, which are basically just rotations of the different specialties. And here at Quinnipiac, we have many different hospitals that we're affiliated with in the Connecticut area, which I view as a positive thing because you basically get used to a different hospital every time you rotate there, so you become very adaptable. Now I'm in my fourth and final year of medical school, which is kind of the most Free year you get. You're responsible for making your own schedule of rotations and they can be basically wherever you want them to be. The goal of fourth year is to try out as many places as possible to see what programs you might want to do residency at. Personally, I'm applying to residency for neurology with an interest in neuro-oncology. And here we are in one of my favorite rooms of the medical school. This is the bone room. There's a lot of dioramas in here and it's a really cool place to study because you're surrounded by all different types of medical textbooks and dioramas. And the reason I'm on campus today is to work on some of my research projects that I'm presenting this weekend. And at Netter, we are required to do a capstone project that we work on all four years of medical school on some area of interest of research. So let's get working on some of those presentations. A common misconception about medical school is that you no longer have to be involved in like activities. There's actually so many activities that you could be involved in as a medical student. I am part of Quinnipiac Student Government Association, where I am a peer advocate who advocates for medical student health and wellness. Let's pop over to Mount Carmel campus to have coffee with a QU mentee, and maybe I'll see my pre-med advisor that I had when I was an undergrad. So one of the reasons I decided to come back to Quinnipiac for medical school was because I got such great mentorship. So as a medical student, I am involved in a lot of mentorship and one of the things I'm involved in is called QU Netter Mentors and basically we are paired with an undergraduate to mentor so I'm actually about to meet her right now for coffee. That was so fun I got to get coffee at the Starbucks on campus with my QU Netter mentee and I love how easy Quinnipiac makes it to find mentorship opportunities. I'm actually very close with my biggest mentor as a pre-med who is the Quinnipiac pre-med advisor Anna Gilmore so I will take you to say hi to her right now. Whether you're in high school looking for a college or in college looking for a medical school, I can confidently say that Quinnipiac has something to offer you. I cannot emphasize enough that Quinnipiac undergrad helps give me the confidence to apply to medical school and then Quinnipiac's medical school helped give me the confidence to really pursue my dreams in a neurology residency. Be sure to check out other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos to see Quinnipiac all for yourself. Go Bobcat!